I come to you tonight with it looks like a possible decode and uh, it's based on Elenin. So what I've heard is that I've heard the whole ELE means extinction level event. What I decided to do is dig just a little bit further and um, I'm not sure if anybody else has done this yet but let me show you uh, what I've found. So first of all if you take a look at Google and you type in Elenin, and what I've done here is I want to find Elenin on NASA.gov. So I put SI, you know, site colon NASA.gov. <clears throat> so moving down here, you can see the obvious uh, uh, shill responses from David Morrison, who lies his butt off, but uh, and I actually caught him in a lie a while back. But uh, what I was interested in when I when I typed that in was I saw this right here. Uh, it was kind of cryptic. So when I opened it up. Uh, what I actually got was this, okay? And so we all know, and this is at the NASA.gov site, and we're all familiar that Leon, Leonid Elenin, right, apparently has an email uh, at gmail.com. <clears throat> so we know that this is the guy, apparently, that discovered this thing. So I decided to do a little bit more digging and find out maybe what we're looking at here. So to do a little bit of decoding, first thing I did was um, I decided to go ahead and do a define on Leonid and see what comes up. So if you look right here, the first thing that comes up here is each of a shower of meteorites which fall from the area of the sky around the constellation of Leo in November. Okay. So, and then right here below this, we have the Leonids, are a, a profile meteor shower associated with the comet uh, Temple Tuttle. The Leonids get their name from the location of their radiant uh, in the constellation Leo. Well, we all know that uh, this planet X or Nibiru is supposed to come from, from Leo, right? Okay, so what we have here is we have Leonid, a shower of meteorites. that causes a st an extinction level event and they can normally be seen from Leo and it usually happens in November okay so I highly doubt that there's anybody out there that has a name that when you put it together like that means this kind of stuff okay For, I further went through and um, I have defined NIN of course the nine inch nails comes up but the other thing that comes up I found very interesting was is the third one down the Sumerian word N-I-N, okay, is the sign for a lady, okay, a divine lady, a god or a priestess, okay. So there's just too many coincidences, okay, that NASA would actually happen to have somebody named Leonid Elenin, which basically means a cluster of comets that you can see coming from Leo that shower in November causing an extinction level event from a goddess. Now, that makes, I mean, you can put all that stuff together, okay? You take those syllables, you can look for it yourself. Here, all you gotta do is type in define in lowercase, colon, and then try these syllables out yourself on Google and see what you think. But, uh, it's kind of funny how they let us know. <laughs> They let us know all of these things without actually going out and saying it. Yeah, I don't see how, if, if, if you're not awake now and you can't see this, and you think this is just a coincidence, well, I can't help you. So, I hope this helped everybody. Um, I think, based on the number of coincidences or whatever you want to call it in this, um, I'm pretty sure that Comet um, Elenin is definitely the same thing as um, the Nibiru or um, Planet X. I think it's the same thing. Hello everyone, welcome to part two of Elenin Decoded. We cut part two because I want to show you how to 
think about what you may have just seen. When I decoded all of these things that told us that Elenin might possibly be here later this year. And I want you to reflect on your reactions and what you thought when you heard this information. See, a lot of things uh, are very hard to explain when they don't make logical sense when you can't perceive them in your brain. For example, most of you concentrated on the date. When is it going to arrive? What are we going to do? When is the pole shift going to arrive? What are we going to do about that? And when you think about things that way, you're limiting yourself because we are multidimensional beings. Okay, This is proven by physics. And so what I'm going to try to do with this part, as well as the next uh, parts that I have in this series, is to show you kind of what we're going through right now. So, to relate this part to the last one that we just saw, what I want you to do is I want you to relax. Okay, I don't want you to um, worry about dates and times and things to occur that are going to occur on a certain timeline because remember that when you start moving into a higher level dimension, dimensional states, time is not linear anymore. But see, the problem is, is you only perceive things as being linear right now, and that's the reason why you, you have this begin-end type uh, feeling when you hear something like that. You think the world's going to end, or things, something's going to happen, or that you're going to die, and that's not true. Each and every one of you are infinite beings. You never die. You're just living out experiences of yourself. And so, therefore, so what I want to do is I want to show you a great uh, character, one of my favorites on YouTube, that's going to kind of help explain to you this analogy. Probably does a lot better job than I do, but if you haven't heard of Dr. Quantum, well, I'm going to introduce you to him right now. We may see him a couple of times during this whole learning process. Um, after this part, I'm going to kind of go into you why these things are significant. Why are we experiencing Nibiru? Why are we experiencing pole shift? Why do we experience 911? Well, there's a reason why. And, uh, and we'll go into that later. For now, let's find out uh, what it's like to be a two dimensional being and moving into the 3D world. Welcome to Flatland, a world of only two dimensions. Only forwards and backwards, left and right. In this world, there is no up and no down. I said to Ray, where's Dotty? He said, well, she's out in line. <laughs> 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 What the bleep is that thing? In this world, the two-dimensional beings that live here have no concept of three-dimensional objects. These two-dimensional flatlanders have no understanding of cubes, spheres, tetrahedrons, or yours truly. From their 2D perspective, my 3D finger looks something like this. <gasps> what the flatter is that? Run! <laughs> Hello, little circle. <laughs> Fear of the unknown. Or should I say, not yet known. It's a puzzle. If we see only what we know, how does anyone ever see anything new? The unknown. How do we ever get out of our box? Hello, little circle. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Who said that? Where are you? 
This is always the tricky part to explain. I am in another dimension, another space. I am above you. <laughs> no, never, never use that word. What word? The A word. Above? <laughs> it's forbidden. <laughs> well, what do you think it means? I don't know, and I don't want to know. You can be so fairly punished if you use that word. <gasps> Are you a ghost? <laughs> I hope not. I just have a different perspective than you do. I can see things in a way you can't yet. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, okay. You have a safe hidden in your pantry. <laughs> And inside it, you have 12 coins, a will, and a passport. How did you know that? What are you? Are you a god? Well, no more than you. You see, since I am above you, <laughs> in the third dimension, I can see inside things in your world. Third dimension? You are a crazy ghost. There's only two. Look. <laughs> so, if I were to touch the inside of your stomach, how would I do that? Well, you'd have to cut through my skin. Otherwise, it's impossible. <laughs> Stop! Stop! No. <laughs> Ready for more? More what? Dimensions. Oh! Directions. Uh, no! Yes, but... Oh, but there aren't any. More? 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 What will happen to me? What will I become? You'd have to become it to know. Okay. Excellent. Funny? That which we are most afraid of is what thrills us the most. So there you have it, folks. I hope this helps explain kind of what you may be going through right now as we move to a higher vibration and higher dimensions. The things that you perceive right now as bad events or events that are occurring or that could happen in the near future we're moving into a dimension where we're going to be dealing with time and in a multi-dimensional level not a linear level so what that means is that the timeline that you may see or that you may be experiencing right now is only one probable reality of the infinite number of timelines that exist and so what I'm going to try to do is explain to you how we can prove that we are moving to these higher level dimensions without proving it to you with left brain logic.